Tyree Evan. Jackson. Yep. Can't tell you how excited we are. We appreciate uh, everything that you've been able to hold off, and uh, you found a great fit, and we couldn't be more excited about what you're going to be doing here, okay? Well, have a great day. It's a great day to be a bull. All right. Love to hear it. Great love a be great be day to be a bull. Be a bull. From before Tyree Jackson came to Buffalo, We've had our eye on him. And if this guy comes here, I think this could be a program-changing player. I know that come game time, I know Tyree's ready to play. He is such a unique player to this program, to this conference. For my money, he's one of the most intriguing athletes in our city. If I had one phrase to describe Tyree, it would be freak of nature. He's going to make some throws that will make you go, oh my. Tyree drops back in the pocket, looks, looks, going to hang it up. Deep down the near sideline, looking for Johnson, got it! And also has a cannon of an arm, you know, probably one of the best arms in the MAC, and his legs are just a plus. I've never played with no quarterback that size and that much of ability to be able to do that. Quarterback draw, Tyree going to have the first down, running up the middle, breaks the tackle to 35 at the 40. There he goes, 40-yard line, 30-yard line, running out of gas at the 20, at the 10, at the 5. Bullseye! It's a Tyree Jackson 75-yard touchdown! I always say, go someplace where it's fun to watch the game. Who makes the game fun? He makes the game fun. He can run away from people. He can out-throw you. He can put balls in places that other quarterbacks wouldn't even try. And he can avoid people in the pocket and scramble and get first downs. And if you give him a gash to run it, he cannot run you. It's a Tyree Jackson touchdown! You know, whether he hits 6'7", six, 6'6", six, six plus, he's 240-some pounds. But the thing about Tyree Jackson is you watch him play the game, you're going to see the size, you're going to see the arm strength, you're going to see his speed when he runs. But the thing that people don't understand is how smart Tyree Jackson is. I played a lot of sports growing up. I was always busy. I went from football to basketball, and I'd do track. I was always busy doing something throughout the, throughout the school year. The size didn't come till late, though. I, didn't, I wasn't always this big. My freshman year in high school, I was 5'9", so I hit, I hit like 6'1 the next year, and then all of a sudden my senior year, I just jumped to 6'5". So I, gained, I, I grew like three inches one summer, and it was just crazy. When I was at Minnesota, we actually watched Tyree Jackson on tape. They had a receiver or somebody else, can't remember exactly, who we were also looking at. So obviously it was quarterback and the receiver. I forgot it was a receiver. I think he ended up going to a power five and seeing him. So I still remember that going, that's a big, long kid. But they ran the ball more, if I remember. He was more, um, they were multiple, but more option-ish type stuff. So it's like big kid running, kind of a long release. I'm from Muskegon, Michigan. It's a small town on the west side of Michigan. I chose to go to Mona Shores, which is kind of on my side of town. So, I mean, they'd never been to the playoffs, didn't have any history in football. My freshman year, we went one and eight. By my junior year, we were the first team to make playoffs. And then my senior year, we went to the state championship, which is the first time ever. Tyree Jackson was committed to, to the UB football program, you know, upon our appointment here as a football staff. But at the same time, it took a lot of work on our part to make sure that Tyree understood that everything that was, was going to be here at, at this university, football and academically, were going to still stay the same. The old coach staff that came and watched me work out a few times at my high school, and uh, some bigger schools started offering and talking to me, and I just kind of stayed true to UB. And then when Coach Lipo got here, he called me right away. I just knew that it was the right fit to play for him because I really liked him a lot. Very impressed with our first day. I'm happy with the attitude. I think they've reported in excellent shape. Love the energy, and now we just have to build upon it. I just learned a lot from Joe Licata last year and just growing physically throughout the summer and the winter. So I'm just uh, continuing to grow and develop as a player. And it's working. Red shirt freshman from Norton Shores, Michigan, is out to take his very first snap. Jackson in the pocket, looks, fires to the sidelines, it's caught. Holsey at the 45, down to the 43 for a seven yard gain, and Tyree Jackson's one for one. Uh, I think just that Army game was probably one of the one of the best moments so far, just coming back and winning. Tyree going to throw it quick to the sidelines to Marcus McGill at the 35, at the 40, at the 45, at the 50. Jackson fade, end zone, corner, diving catch, attempt, touchdown! Record-wise, I mean, of course, we didn't do well. We were 2-10, and 10, but, I mean, learning-wise, I felt like being out there, just being in the fire, I learned a lot. For him to come in as a redshirt freshman and lead us the way he did, uh, you know, that's why this win feels so great. 
because um, the future is in, is in really good hands with Tyree. This UB Bulls team, I want to say it begins and ends with the progress of Tyree Jackson, but my God, is that the guy I'm looking to see? We saw flashes of what we think he can be last year. What sort of leap did he make in the offseason? That is such a key to this entire football season. He throws good deep balls. Like I like how he just leads me to the ball. First and 10 for the Bulls, Tyree hangs it up, fade, end zone, caught, touchdown! You know, he got off to a, to a good start. He was he was showing all the flashes of what we were what, what we thought Tyree Jackson could be, and, and including his running ability early in the season. Unfortunately, in the Florida Atlantic game, he was injured. 54 seconds to go in the half. Bulls down by three. Quarterback draw. Tyree gonna run again, and he gets bent over backwards and drilled. And boy, I hope he gets up from that one. I, I remember when he went down. You know how he was in tears. Uh, just praying that it wasn't nothing too serious, that it wasn't an ACL. You know, in high school, you know, he went through a procedure, had surgery. Last year, late in the year, I, I think the first thing is, uh, of course, you know, here we go again type of thing. But I, I think he's in a lot better frame of mind than he was at halftime on Saturday. I think once Tyree knew that he was going to return yet yeah, during the season, I think the, the time he spent on the sideline, still working with Jim Zabrowski, position coach, and, and seeing things, enabled him to process things a little bit differently. We have been given late word that T3 will be QB1 once again. T3 and the return. Yeah, Tyree Jackson is back. I mean, when you're hurt, you got a lot of time to yourself. You know, I watched a lot of film. I watched the NFL quarterbacks. I watched our games. I watched past this last year. I watched a lot of stuff, you know, so just working on my craft and just staying locked in, you know, because it's easy to get distracted when you're when you're not out there. Tyree looking to the left, pump fake, throws the oh, ball to the left side, wide open, caught. I feel like when he came back, I mean, he got better. You know, he really took over this team and, and really helped us go on that three game winning streak stretch down the, towards the end of the season. Tyree fires, wide open Jacob Martinez, 40, 35, 30 yard line. Tyree in the pocket, now he rolls out to the left, sets up, throws downfield, wide open. Tyree Jackson, every week continues to get better and better and better. Honestly, when I look at him, I kind of like compare him to Cam Newton in a way. Like he has the size. I heard, I've heard Cam Newton throws hard balls, Tyree throws hard balls. Uh, I probably model my game after Cam Newton. I like him a lot. He's big like me. He can run and throw. So that'd probably be my favorite quarterback to model my game after. He definitely wants to go on to the next level, and he has a talent to go on to the next level. Like I said, his mindset isn't at a college level anymore. He's working to get ready to go to the NFL. Tyree has really grown as a leader. I, I think, you know, leading in the huddle is something that's been very natural for him. He has now started to understand is not just making Tyree Jackson the best quarterback he can be. I got to make the, the other guys around me eat better each and every day. And that might be just doing the little things correctly. That you're not willing to hold people accountable yeah. to high standards and producing results, you're not going to have a championship culture. Jeff Jensen, hey, Bulls up two, one, two, Bulls.